All right, so this is a follow-up video to a forum post on the Reillusion forums uh, for someone who's asking how they can achieve a certain type of pop-up effect as shown at this URL. And uh, let's take a quick look at this URL so we can see what he's talking about. For a successful aanpak van multiprobleem gezinnen, criminaliteit en okay, so here's the pop-ups. Is meer nodig dan zorg of straf alleen. Basically they just kind of vraagt om een gezamenlijke aanpak you know, van gemeenten, zorgpartners, have a little bounce in the front, stuff like that. It's actually a very simple effect, although it's not that apparent in how to do it inside of Crazy Talk because a lot of the uh, features and functions don't lend themselves to that type of animation, but a lot of the stuff that's already in there does support it. You just have to kind of get creative with it, you know. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of an exploitation here. I'm gonna start by drawing just a basic house, nothing fancy. Uh, just you know, just kind of abstract for the sake of time. I'm just gonna do this number here. And I'm using Flash. You can use any graphics editor you want. Uh, you know, you can use raster based editors, you can use uh, vector based editors. It's really up to you. Uh, for best resolution, I, I, I definitely recommend using a vector based uh, product like Illustrator or Flash. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a little outline on this thing here. Let's see. Maybe make that bigger. All right. This is not a drawing tutorial, so I'm not going to focus too much on how to make this type of stuff like this. So, all right. Here's our house. We're going to export it as an SWF file. me and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna import it into crazy talk now we can't just import it as a prop because the tools that directly apply to props don't exactly have the type of manipulators you need to create that type of 3d effect so instead we're gonna exploit uh, one of the actors in order to achieve this effect so here's our dummy character Z my way out of there real quick. And let's put it on frame one. And I'm just gonna place my character somewhere on on the stage there. I'm going to character composer mode. And really all I need to do at this point is bring in that prop. If I can find it, here it is. My house. I'm gonna drop it and I'm gonna use the torso area. I like using the torso or the hip uh, for most of the the, the things along the, this type of nature. Um, that's not what I want to do. We'll need to double click in this so that we can get the uh, sprite editor. That way we can move it around without messing around with the bones. Maybe enlarge it some. And uh, we'll just this should be good enough. I'll put uh, the bottom part at the center of the hip. Okay. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this particular sprite if I can. Oops. I deleted it, the whole thing accidentally. So I'm going to bring it in again. There we go. Uh, readjust it. And you don't have to delete the sprites themselves. You can just hide them. For example, if I um, get out of there, double click on an empty space, which should do the trick in most cases. All right, so I've selected my stuff here, and uh, let's see, window, scene manager. Uh, I'm just gonna hide all this stuff, except for the upper torso. I'm gonna hide the neck hide the arms hide this stuff what else need that's it all i need is the upper torso <clears throat> so
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to my regular uh, thing here. So now I have this character which basically looks like a house. I'm going to place them anywhere on the stage that I want. And, uh, you know, to animate, I just go into the 3D editor. I'm going to select my upper torso. Get the initial animation as far back as I can. Because, the, the, you know, there's a limit to as far as you can go, unfortunately. And um, <clears throat> we're going to go to our last frame where we're going to place our final keyframe. We're going to try to straighten them up as best as possible. Okay, and now we have something that looks like this. All right. If we want to have the additional little uh, bump, um, let's see here. Notice how when these buildings come up, house. they have an extra, an overlapping bit of animation there. All we have to do is come back somewhere in the middle, uh, somewhere around here, not, not necessarily in the middle, but at this point we just kind of overextend that pose so that it animates from here to here and then it bounces back to its standard uh, position so then you end up with something that looks like that alright very simple and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it I mean you can uh, now go ahead and uh, add your camera effects um, let's uh, Let's replicate this a couple times. Control. Move this to the back. And uh, I'm going to go into the timeline. <coughs> and I'm going to look for the 3D motion for this character. I'm going to tell it to start right here and just kind of, that way they're not animated at the same time. But they end up erect at the same time. Okay. I'm going to move this to the back, that way you can see that a little bit of overlap there just for the sake of having something there. Um, Alright, so I'm going to add a bit of a camera movement to it. Nothing too drastic. Just so you can see the, you know, the overlapping there, the parallax effect. So something like this would be good. And then maybe on the final keyframe. Let me see, make sure we have a nice alignment. There you go. So it's not, not really that difficult to do. It's just have to be a little bit creative in how you achieve things inside of Crazy Talk. Hopefully you get uh, some good ideas from this video. And I look forward to seeing what you can come up with.